Well, in West Africa, a lot of Francophone countries, now they call the, the 13 nations that has uh, French as their dominant language, they call them the Francophone nations. Many of them are sick and tired of France because France have disrespected them. France have taken their resources, just straight being a colonizer. They practice neocolonialism with them by having their puppet leaders, where they could take all the resources out of West Africa so France can live a, a better life than the people there. Well, their military has been in these West African countries as well. And I want you to hear what happened to one of the brothers over there in Chad due to what the French military did them because everybody's sick of France. Let's go roll that. Occurred at the uh, French Fire Largeau military compound where troops have been deployed to fight jihadists in uh, West Africa's Sahel region. A Paris diplomats reported that a French army medic shot and killed the Chadian soldier who had reportedly attacked him and then all these protests followed. A few more details now with this local journalist. A French army soldier from the Bahrain mission killed a Chadian citizen at the Faya Largeau French military base. This unfortunate event took place at the infirmary on the base where the Chadian died after being shot. The locals went there and started protesting immediately with attempts to penetrate the base. Locals say they no longer want the French presence in Chad. The French need to leave. All the time they've been here, they are robbing us, they kill us. They have to leave now. We don't want anything from you. Leave our territory. The young man was shot deliberately. We are against it. The French took everything from us. We can't even provide for our needs because the French have taken our property. And on top of that, they kill us. Let them go home. We're sick of them and their colonization. We don't agree anymore. One of our own gets killed. We don't want that anymore. We don't want friends anymore. There is an epidemic of putsches throughout the Sahel, but based on what? On the weakness of the military systems, on an insufficient effectiveness, and also on the policy that we must lead and support with the entire region. We know that Africa are suffering from the uh, waste policies. So what is happening? Uh, really, it is the beginning for the true independence uh, to keep our uh, resource and to keep our life and to keep our uh, our futures. What they are doing right now is liberation from what's happening all, all around the world. Because they had enough from the Western, they had enough from Europe. So I guess it's it's, it's their time to have, to, to to get their. Uh, Independent. The people there feel that their uh, resources are being mobilized and utilized by their uh, past colonizers, France particularly. And they suffer from uh, the uh, malnutrition, uh, bad uh, living conditions due to the uh, uh, authorization. As you can see, this is another African country that's saying, you know what, France got to go. We sick of them. It, it, and, it's, and it's right, it's by time for you brothers and sisters to take a stand and take your country back, take your continent back. Tell France to go back to their they country and live their life, stay away from you. What y'all should do in those African countries, you should enact a travel ban from, from anybody coming from France. Say, you coming from France, I don't want you here because I don't know who you're gonna sneak in here. We don't want Macron here, we don't want your military here, a matter of fact, we don't want to even deal with you. No resources going to you. We don't even want to sell them to you. We got 194 countries outside of you that we can, we can give resell resources to. You know what I'm saying? And that's what should happen. It should be a ban on France because France have not done anything right by the African people. This, just as much during the time of the virus that y'all was shutting down y'all borders and enacting travel bans, well, this is something that you need to shut your borders down once again to France. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Macron should not even be nowhere near the African continent the way he is treating black people and his country is treating black people. It's coming to a head. And this should be a national outcry in every African nation. Those 13 nations need to join together and say in unison and say, get out. 
you don't belong here. We don't want you here. It's just that simple. And every man and woman should be on that and do whatever you got to do to make it happen for them to go and take themselves out of West Africa. Because see, the, the, the time is coming to an end of their occupation. Their whole time of, of, of rule is coming to an end. This is why you see the brothers and sisters say it's time. Just as much as we have supported our brothers and sisters in South Africa going through apartheid. And yes, they still got one more apartheid to end, which is the financial apartheid, where the white supremacists hold the land and hold the wealth, and they got to get that back. And, and just as much as I was going to support my West African brothers and sisters in the Francophone nation who need to get that white supremacist out of their homeland. And I know it's going to happen. It's going to happen because you can't be uh, oppressed forever. I know that. Cause like my grandmother always said, nothing stays the same. It may be that way for a while, but it won't be like that way forever. And that's, and that is the God's on the truth. And Macron in the back of his mind is scared of that. Their, their uh, uh, lawmakers is scared about this rise of anti-French sentiment. They're scared, and rightfully so, because y'all have been harming those people, taking their lives, stealing from them all this time, and you wonder why they don't want you there? Well, they, they, you're supposed to be there, what, a thousand years, doing whatever you want so you can live your, your life all, all comfortable in France while those brothers and sisters suffer? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's their time now, and they got to make that happen. 